Father Christmas had another early call when he was driven by Graham Hill to a motel near London Airport. He was to meet some children who don't see much of their fathers, who are all famous racing drivers, often away from home on the Grand Prix circuits. Mrs. Hill and little Samantha helped to make the party go with a swing. Gary Brabham wants to be a world champion like his father, while Samantha will probably be content with just watching. Nothing like a conjurer to instill magic into a Christmas party. Graham Hill worked as hard as the entertainer and Father Christmas combined. Whether Santa brought all the presents with him or the entertainer conjured them up didn't matter a bit. Everybody got something. The wonderful thing about Santa Claus, he remembers them all. Arriving in time for the most important Christmas of their lives, five crippled Liberian children flew in from the sun to London's winter. But the warmest welcome was waiting. Variety Clubs International had arranged for them to be flown to Britain for specialist treatment, which will make their future a happier one. The children, aged between 9 and 16, were taken by the Variety Club's mini coach to St Andrew's Hospital at Dollis Hill. The youngsters were chosen by the Antoinette Tubman Children's Foundation to come to England because of the severity of their disablements. At St Andrews, all was ready. James Carreras, Variety Club's international officer, and everyone at the hospital knew how nervous the youngsters must be. And what better than the spirit of Christmas to calm their fears and bring a smile to their faces. Mr. Carreras, himself recovering from a recent operation, had a winning way with polio victim Priscilla Borsa. It's not easy to joke about such things, but before they leave for home at the end of January, all the children will have had the best treatment in the world. They'll be fitted with artificial limbs and put well on the road to a new life by surgeons and technicians devoting their skill and time for the reward of giving renewed hope to five victims of physical handicap. It's going to be the best Christmas of their young lives, one of new hope. By now, the anxiety of what the weeks to follow had in store was gone. Another journey was ahead, not a long one this time, but one equally full of excitement to the Christmas lights of London. The goodwill of men has brought five wanting children to our land. Christmas 1966 will be the time which showed the real meaning of goodness in man's heart. <laughs>